Hey everybody, welcome back to TJ Gaming. Uh, today we've got another Madden video where we are going to see if we can't duplicate the 2018-2019 NFL season. And by doing that, we're hoping to see if we can't get the Rams and the Patriots in the Super Bowl again. See if we can't get a majority of the playoff teams that were in the playoffs this year in. So... They use the same settings as we did for our fantasy draft. Uh, we're gonna use a preseason roster in pre-existing injuries off, injuries off. Nobody wants their, like I said before, nobody wants their their best player to be injured. Nobody wants to see the best players injured. Cause that just kind of takes away from takes away from the game. So we're going to leave it on all pro simulation. And I will see you guys at the beginning of the season. Alright, welcome to the regular season. Here we go. We're going to see. Now I'm recording this uh, Super Bowl Sunday. So we know MVPs. We know Coach of the Year. know all of that stuff. So we can kind of compare it to what is actually happening. We'll see how close Madden can be to the regular season and to the postseason. We're gonna simulate up to, uh, we'll simulate to midseason. All right, so here we are, week eight, week nine. Uh, let's go take a look at the, at the standings. Eagles are seven, oh, and one. The Broncos are six and two. Rams are up there where they were supposed to be. The Saints, Redskins are up there, five and two. Where are the the Chiefs? Look like they're kind of boy. The Chiefs are way down there. The Rams are are up there where they're supposed to be. The Patriots. I know we're kind of jumping back and forth, but we're just kind of checking out the in the playoffs this year and see where they're at right now. So we have the Patriots at four and four. Chiefs at three and five. The Bears at two and five. Wow. How about that? And the Browns at one and seven. Browns are not giving much love to Baker Mayfield here. Or er, Madden, I guess. Ravens four and four. Colts four and four. Cowboys four and three. <clears throat> Packers who did not make the playoffs are four and three right now. And the Vikings who did not make the playoffs are four, two, and two. Now if we go back and look at the schedule for week eight, we can see Wow, that was So I'm looking at the 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 schedule for week eight right now Thursday night Miami Miami at Houston Madden has it 28 42 Houston the actual score was 23 to 42 Houston that's pretty close And the uh, the Saints beat Minnesota that week too. Green Bay lost to the Rams that week. So I mean, all in all, it's not too far off. There's a couple of teams that had uh, better records than than what Madden has them right now. So all in all, it's it's not. Too far off. There we go. We'll take a look at the awards. See who's who's up there for the awards. So as we know, last night uh, Patrick Mahomes won MVP, and the Bears coach won Coach of the Year. Mahomes isn't up there at all. And with the Bears record as it is right now, and in Madden, I'm sure he's not he's not up there either. So. So here we are, the beginning of the playoffs. We will go take a look at the standings really quick. Chargers, Patriots, Steelers, Texans, Dolphins, and Jets. Chiefs did not make it. 
nor did the Ravens or the Colts. Oh, keep in mind that I we used uh, the preseason roster, so I'm sure Khalil Mack is still with the Raiders and and Cooper's still with um and still with the Raiders as well. But a couple of surprise teams up there. Steelers didn't make it this year. The Dolphins didn't make it. The Jets didn't make it this year. So NFC, the Eagles, Saints, Rams, Redskins are up there. The Panthers and the Lions. So a couple of different ones. We have the Bears all the way down there at five and eleven. We'll take a look at the schedule for the wild card round. So we have the Jets at the Steelers, the Panthers at the Rams, the Dolphins at the Texans, and the Redskins at the Lions. So for the actual NFL, we had the Colts at the Texans, Seattle at Dallas, the Chargers at Baltimore, and Philadelphia and Chicago. <clears throat> with the first, with the buys going to the Saints, the Rams for the NFC, and the the Chiefs and the Patriots for the AFC. So we'll simulate the wild card and we'll see what happens. So here we are, just finished the the wild card round. It looks like our chances might be still a chances are still still alive that we get the Rams and the and the Patriots in the playoffs. And it looks like the Rams lost. The Rams ended up losing. So we have the Steelers beating the Jets, we have the Panthers beating the Rams, we have the Texans, we have the Dolphins beating the Texans and we have the Lions beating the beating Washington. So let's see, can we at least get one of the Super Bowl teams into the Super Bowl? So we have the Dolphins at the Chargers, the Panthers at the Eagles, the Steelers at the Patriots, and the Lions at the Saints. So all in all, I mean, it's not horrible. We did get two of the four teams for the, the conference, conference championship round into the playoffs. So we'll see if we can, if uh, Madden allows the Patriots to to keep going we're back and we got the Patriots at the Chargers and the Saints at the Eagles so both of the so the Patriots and the Saints both make it to the conference championship again let's see if we can't get the Patriots into the into the Super Bowl so here we are and it looks like we're gonna get a rematch of Super Bowl 52 as the Patriots are going to face off against the Eagles. Patriots beat the Chargers 31-28 and the Eagles beat the Saints 35-21. We'll go take a look and see at uh, awards. And Tom Brady is, looks like he's going to end up Winning the MVP, and Anthony Anthony Lynn, uh, coach of the Chargers, is going to end up with the coach of the year. We'll take a look at the stats for the rookie, for the rookies, and we'll we'll kind of make our own our own call on that. So Saquon ended up with 868 yards, nine touchdowns. We'll jump to the Browns. Baker ended up with 692 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Josh Allen, not a bad year. Almost 4,000 yards, 21 touchdowns, three interceptions. Mahomes didn't too, too bad either. 3,700 yards, 22, 22 touchdowns, eight picks. So, I mean, not not too bad of a year for for everybody now we're gonna simulate the Super Bowl and we're gonna see who ends up up on top and there you have it Super Bowl 53 champions are your New England Patriots as they walk away with the with the win 28 25 Philadelphia came back in the fourth quarter to 
to make it a one score game. Looks like it would have been pretty entertaining. Hopefully tonight's game is just as good. Um, let me know down in the comment section who you want to win and who you think is going to win. I want the Rams to win, but I I think the experience of Brady and, and all the and Belichick and all the other players on the Patriots team is just going to be a little bit too much for the for the Rams to overcome. I think the Rams are a great team. I think they've got a great future, but I think that the Patriots, unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it, are going to end up as the champions. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you guys believe. And yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get back to being somewhat consistent. I know I haven't been that uh, lately, but I did get a video up this morning. Um, and hopefully this one will be up later tonight. And yeah, uh, until next time, peace.